you know, when we had spoken before this, you had mentioned a term, positive deviance, the emphasis on what's working. And I love that frame of thinking because really, I think, especially when we get into the just grand challenges we're facing today, whether they're challenges of gender equity, the climate crisis, the public health crisis, we can get so hung up on what's broken, um, which it's absolutely necessary to honor and acknowledge and to bear witness to what's broken. But that can lead to overwhelm and then paralysis, really. Um, So, you know, it's, it's imperative that we focus on what's emerging. How do we make sure that we're consciously planting the seeds for the future that we hope to get to? Um, And that's why I love the focus on optimism. I love thinking about all the amazing things civil society is doing to bring forward the emergent paradigm, the world that is more regenerative, more sustainable, um, where human rights are honored. And so how how do we move from, you know, the world we're in today to that world and focus on what are the things that will get us there and how as uh, as the great eco-philosopher Joanna Macy says, how can we each serve as stones in the bridge to that future? Well, that is quite beautiful. I'm going to actually be talking about regeneration in a moment and what you're about to be doing. But I do want to bring out here on this chat that one of the negatives of not being positive, the negative of not being positive, is that we tend to ignore what's already there. 